So, like, uh, a lot of uh, American friends of mine, they're always asking me, like, oh, you can't get Facebook in China, right? Like, so they, do they do, like, social media over there? And I'm like, yeah. Like, it's everywhere. Like, you don't have Facebook and Twitter, but you have Weibo and Weixin, which is, like, WhatsApp, Twitter-ish type things. Basically, all the things you would do on Facebook and Twitter, you do on these other apps. And, and um, the Internet stuff is really big, and especially for people like me that like making stuff and making videos and sharing with people, like, you always want to be getting more and more fans online. And so uh, what has happened is that there's actually a lot of like fake fans. There's a lot of bots on Weibo and like the Chinese Twitter. And so uh, I want to introduce you to one of my bot fans right now. Uh, this is one of my bot fans right here. <laughs> and um, she has uh, letters written up next to her that says, Kuai Su Jia Fan Si, which is to say, to add fans, message this number. And this is something that, you know, this is something that you see a lot and these people will like join your Weibo for two days and then they'll quit. And then they'll like, you'll, they'll defriend you or whatever. But the thing is, Weibo is supposed to be stopping this and they are trying to stop this, but here's the problem. They have bots trying to catch the bots. So the bots are looking for the words add fans quick. Um, and so as a result, my Weibo bot fan has changed a little thing about each of these characters in order to try to evade their bot. So like, for instance, instead of kwai, which means fast, she used the character kwai, which means chopsticks. <laughs> instead of the character jiao, which means add or plus, she used the character jiao, which is the tartar reed flute. Instead of fensu, which actually means vermicelli noodles, but is a loan word for fan. You can see it all the way down at the bottom. Already complicated enough. Instead of fans, she uses the word fen, which is the name of a river in Shanxi province, and si, <laughs> which is the sound of bullets flying overhead. <laughs> and the real problem is that when you have bots trying to catch bots, you have a pretty woman with her picture up and then she says like, eh, eh, eh. what is she saying? Eh, 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 eh. Chopsticks, tartar, reader, flute, Shanxi river. <laughs> this is a real person. <laughs> Come on, Weibo, step up your bot game. I spent the day in Nanlo Kuxiang, a popular shopping street here in Beijing, to see if I could get anyone to scan this QR code and follow the show. Look at this! It's working! It's all working! Hey everybody, this is Jesse. I'm the creator of The Great Law of China. I hope you guys like the show. If you like this episode, we have other episodes that are like this one, but with different things. It's crazy. It's on my page. It's on the Asia Society's page. It's all a lot of fun. Follow us. I'm sure you won't regret it.